Hi, thanks for joining us for another session of Leading with Honor Coaching. And this month, we're continuing with our Courageous Accountability Model, and we're stepping down to the Connect portion of it, which is Chapter 6 in the Engage with Honor uh, book that you might have already read. But we're going to talk a little bit about today about connecting with yourself and your people based on what their talents are. Now, we all have unique talents. Everyone is. And we also need to learn to appreciate those who are different from us. Now, growing up, I was pretty much uh, confident that everybody would be like me. And they should be like me. That was what I was thinking. Well, you know, eventually I started learning, especially in the POW camps, that uh, we weren't all alike. Now, we were fighter pilots and aircrew men, mostly, but we were very different. You know, there are people that grew up on a farm and they had one personality and another person in the city had another personality, but we were all were good fighter pilots or air crews and fighters, and uh, we learned to really appreciate and understand that somebody who was in the same profession as us could be actually very different with different traits and different talents and different strengths. Well, some of them were the same, but some were different. And so this became a real learning situation in the, there in the POW camp. But great leaders learn this and start to practice it by knowing themselves and knowing what their talents are, what their strengths are, what their struggles are, and knowing that some people over here have some talents they don't have. And I'll tell you, in my career, in all of my career, I have been successful mainly because I had people who had talents that I didn't have and they made me look good. So I've learned to really appreciate people who are different. And by the way, this works at home too because most of us have spouses that are very different from us and you got to accept that and keep them, keep them on that pedestal. But back to the thing of managing people who are different. You know, I learned that and have worked at that. I coach myself to help people speak up when they need to. You know, I was at the EAA Air Venture event this past week. Now, it's a week-long event. Uh, you may not have heard of this, but over 600,000 people attend uh, each year in that week-long event. And there are more than 10,000 small airplanes flew in and landed, and they're parked in the grass fields around the, the runways there, and a lot of them camp out by their airplane. So it's quite an event. And there are all sorts of hangars with training for this and that and the other. Uh, there are more than 200 speakers every day in different parts of that EAA convention. So I was a speaker one day, and I listened to some other speakers, but... Think about more than 200 speakers in a day. That's a big event. Well, I wanted to mention that I met uh, General uh, Jackie Van Ovos. Now, she's a four-star general in charge of the Trans U.S. Transportation Command. She used to be commander of the Air Mobility Command, but she graduated from the academy in 1988. She became a pilot. Now, they didn't let them fly combat airplanes at that time, but she went to test pilot school and flew combat airplanes and flew all the fighters. And she is one of the senior generals in the United States Air Force. And she was there because they were highlighting some of the women pilots this year. Well, General Ben Ovos is a great leader. I read some of her articles about leadership. And she talks about specifically what we're talking about today, about connecting with people differently who are different. And for instance, she said, if someone doesn't speak up in the meeting, I'll ask them a question. And if they don't give a full answer because they're too reserved and not and just holding back and don't want to assert themselves, then I'll call them up and say, come by my office or I'll go by their office and ask them again and talk to them and listen to them because I know that they know some things that I probably don't know. And it's going to really be helpful. So. She is talking about, in this article I read, about connecting with people and really learning to value them and appreciate them and letting them know that. 
So that was really great to meet General Van Obos. And there were women pilots there too, and flying in pink. And that's why I'm uh, wearing the pink today, because pink was the real color for the women pilots there this week up at EAA Air Venture. And I think that's another good point, is that uh, women are great pilots. They do great work. And everybody has some talents that can apply in most any situation. And you as a leader, you have to see those and help them be successful because they're going to help you be successful. This month, be sure to read Chapter 6 from the book Engage with Honor. It's all about connecting with the self, knowing your talents, and connecting with others and managing them uniquely. I want to close out by giving you the platinum rule. The platinum rule is do unto others as they would like to be done unto. Do unto others as they would like to be done unto. Now that's not conflicting with the golden rule, but it's helping you one level different, helping you manage them and treat them with respect when they have different talents. The platinum rule, try it. I think you'll like it. Take care and God bless. See you next month.